Welcome to Verbal Pick Radio, where we give you a verbal image of life, and we are everyday people. Like to welcome you all to the show. On the cusp of the verdict, guilty Derek Chauvin in the murder of George Floyd. We're gonna discuss it. I got none other than our go-to analyst for Verbal Pick Radio, which is Mr. Marcus Mudd. Brother Marcus, welcome to the show. Thank you, sir. Thank you for having me. Great. Now, a couple of things we want to touch on. We're going to be brief, but I want to go back before they read that verdict when all black people around the globe was united in the hope that there would be a guilty verdict, but still was ready to embrace and respond to a not guilty verdict because we've been disappointed in so so many cases where the evidence mounted up against the police officer, but yet he still walked away. Such cases as Eric Gardner and uh, Freddie Gray and so forth, Sandra Bland and so forth. Uh, what do you think or do you think that there's a change coming into America with this verdict? Uh, yes, because I believe that it was 100% dissatisfaction as to what we were looking at out of this so-called police officer. And so when you have 100% dissatisfaction, a change comes after. Right. Now, how do we build on this momentum and not go back Pre uh, 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 of George Floyd, Derek Chauvin murder. Recognize the lesson in it all because this happens. This is not an isolated case. This happens. It just so happens that we have it on video in broad daylight, and he was fool enough to do that in front of bystanders and the world. But this happens. So we have to find the lessons, and I can't say that it's just one singular lesson to be learned because, of course, something like this, you you learn so much from it, Uh, from the incident, from what happened before the incident to the whole dynamic of society before the incident, now that we went through the whole situation with the trial and the way the trial uh, took place, and now the verdict and now what's happening after the verdict is so much to learn. So the God himself is using circumstances like this for us to realize and recognize the teachable moments. Mm -hmm. Now, now do you think that all black people in America and all, and including the the politicians and uh, lawmakers should um, invoke the Carroll's law of Miss Carroll, a uh, police officer in Buffalo, Buffalo Police Department, who stopped an officer from uh, choking a young black man, a white officer, and uh, she didn't get a pension until now, but they passed the law in the end of September 2020 uh, stating that... Um, any officers that's there that's wit- witnessing uh, uh, an act of crime such as choking a, an individual and don't step in to stop it can be brought up on charges. I mean, look at that lesson. That's so much packed up into that. I mean, Mrs. Carroll, she's like Sister Rosa Parks in our generation when we don't even know it yet, bro. Come on. So I'm talking to all the filmmakers and the book writers out there, the authors. Y'all need to know a little bit about this sister right here because she was brave enough as a police officer to stand up against her colleague that was committing the same type of act that Derek Chauvin just committed, which resulted in the ending of the life of George Floyd Mm -hmm. in this trial and this world is looking at America in a lot different uh, angle in a lot in a whole different light now. This is a changing time period that we're living in. Things are going to change fast, and 
we want to make sure that they change in our favor to our benefit this time. But yeah. this sister Carol, I'm so happy for her that she got her pension back and it took her so long to yeah. get it back. The system went against her. Right. She had to fight against the system just to get her dignity and respect and to get, I mean, almost like she had to be acquitted and then to get her pension back, you know? I and, mean, and they just demonize and criminalize her for saving a man's life uh, from her colleague. So let's look into that sister, bro. Well, I don't know why they don't use this law. I don't know if it's because it's, uh, is it a state law and it don't carry over into federal all across the, the nation? Or I don't know, bro. I mean, we never even hear about this law, but it's on the books, bro, and it's powerful. Right. Uh, I mean, why wouldn't prosecutor just say, hey, let me refer to this Sister Carol right. in that incident? You know what I'm saying? Correct. Uh, black leaders, black activists, politicians need to invoke that Carol's law. <laughs> now, you were saying something on a previous show about the justice system about it it, it 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 could work as far as seeking justice. So we need a, a, a new understanding on justice versus white supremacy that has plagued the justice system. You know, meaning that certain rulings uh, against minorities are not ruled based on evidence of law is ruled out of white supremacy and white privilege. And they, and they try to hold that above the law. Yes. And that's the problem we have in today. And, uh, we're trying to find different ways of knocking that down. This verdict was one way, but the, do you see any other ways to where we can knock that down? Well, we just knock the system down. That's how you knock it down. The only other way is to do it the way we have been doing it, which I'm not altogether in favor of. It's just slow walking it. Right. Trying to become assimilated into it and becoming a part of it to try to control it when it was never really established for us in the first place. And excuse me for invoking scripture, but the God said... Go into your own damn land and do your own damn thing. Yeah. He didn't say go try to be Pharaoh and try to run Pharaoh's system in your favor. <laughs> right? Yeah, it's gonna be that's it. That's yeah. But I mean, we uh, get back to politics. You know that, yeah. <laughs> right? I mean, <laughs> exactly, man. That's, yeah, yeah, oh, man. Yeah, uh, because you know uh, the funding the police is, has been. Uh, a rallying cry throughout America and basically what they're saying is allocate funds to other entities that can monitor the present policing system but you right I'm, I'm thinking but you right if you invoke the Carroll's law that would supersede the fun in the police. Just enact that. You know, I'm thinking. You know, it would certainly help. It would help. It would definitely help because you're committing a crime if you allow your police partner to abuse his power. Uh, you, That's it. Uh, you, yeah, you're committing a crime for allowing your police partner. Now, we got two other cases coming. Mm-hmm. It's a two or three. It's two. At yeah, least two. two other cases you, coming. You got right. Yeah, the right trial. Whether you know he was shot. Uh, we want to. We want to. Uh, we want to stay uh, in tune with the officer in Virginia. I believe that was Virginia, where he was pepper sprayed, and they were saying he didn't have his uh, tags when he bought bought a brand new vehicle. But yet it it was posted in the upper right corner of his vehicle. And and he and he served this country, and they treated him like he was nothing. So we we, we looking at at those two uh, cases coming up. And these are horrible people committing these acts, and their partners are allowing them to do it. Right. And in just this case right here, if these two other cops wouldn't have 
uh, blocked out like it was Akeem Olajuwon or somebody. While this fool is over here murdering somebody on the concrete, then George Floyd would still be alive right now. Right, exactly. You, you know what I'm saying? So if we just invoke that law, like you said, then hey, you don't want to have a case on you, so you need to go over here and stop that guy mm. because it's a, he's a mad dog. Right. Stop the mad dog. You know what I'm saying? That's right. And get his jaws off of this human being. Right. Now, now another, another another question because I'm I'm going over things that people bring up and they ponder over on why is this allowed to exist, right? Why is it allowed to exist a 19, 20, 21 year old from an all white small town decide to become a police officer? Put him in a, a fast police vehicle with the lights, give him a gun, a badge, nice stick, and some pepper spray, and then have him patrol all black neighborhood. What's the what's the psychology in that? How how can that come out uh in, in, in any type of good when you don't uh give him a briefing on the community, take him to meet the the community leaders and, and get him to Understand the area he's patrolling. How can that exist? Well, there was no requirements for the night riders, where the police office, where the police force was established. There was no requirement. There was no educational requirement. There was no training. All you have to do is put the hood on and get on the horse, take mm. your shotgun with you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And you are the law. That's it. Right. So now today. We shouldn't be so surprised if we never really check that system if we decide that we're going to live under it. If we have never checked it, then we shouldn't be expecting them to do anything any differently, even though they are allowing us to jump on the horse and ride with them to go get us. So, you know, exactly. So have we said in this 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 George Floyd trial, have we finally said enough is enough? To where things can change overnight. You want my opinion? <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> I, I don't. I don't think so, brother. Mm-hmm. I don't think so. No, we no, got. We I got. We so. got some more. We got a ways to go, huh? I think we got a ways to go, and that's okay. We're gonna make it. That's the whole point. That's the whole. That's, right. that's the bottom line. End of the day, is we're gonna make it. But how much of it do we have to take in order to make it? We don't have to take nothing. We we don't we can shut it down overnight. Right. We can shut it down overnight. And I'm not talking, you know, don't associate what I'm saying with violence. Right. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Yeah, please leave me alone with that young black mad male shit right now. Right, right, yeah, exactly. I'm saying if we wanna make a difference and a change a 100% change. All we have to do is do it. And it's done. Yeah, but that's like telling a percentage of the people with a slave mentality to do for self and not wait for, well, not wait for permission from your slave master. That's it. How All you have to do is take away the wait for permission from your slave master away and we're doing it there's nothing else stopping us that's it so I'm just saying I I can't if we're going to speak truthfully if we want to do it right now we can right don't you know that's why Martin Luther King was assassinated Mm -hmm. it's because he decided right here and right now I ain't taking this shit no more boycott right and as soon as he said boycott they shot him yeah. yeah. Everything else was all right. Yeah. Nonviolent protest, carry signs, go yeah. to jail. You know what I'm saying? Talk. Right. But as soon as he said boycott, they shot. It. They shot. It. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm saying, if you want to do it like right here, right now, you got the power, black man and woman. But you're just afraid. Yeah, because white privilege is a forest. It's it's something that's made up 
but given value by the mind of the oppressed. Yes. The more the oppressed won't end, the more they highlight or give value to white privilege. Yes. Value is given to it. You give over your power. You hand your power over. All they do is ask you for it, and you just give it to them. Give it to them. Because... Yeah, you know, yeah. That's all they do is call you and you come. Yeah, and and they can't. Yeah, and, and it sometimes they can't believe it. They in shock like damn, they came. You know, right? You know, well, but who go? But but you, you go look at your bank account and you see extra ten thousand dollars in there. You ain't gonna. You might get excited, <laughs> but you ain't gonna give it back. Right? Yeah. You like? Hey. You, you know, they yeah. call you and you come running like Fido. You yeah. know what I'm saying? To do whatever they want you to do. Don't expect them to be like, hey, man, you know, you're crazy. Right? You know, they're going to do what they was born and bred to do. Because this this wasn't nothing but three or four generations back, man. When we was bleeding at the fingers, picking cotton and building up Wall Street. Right. This wasn't that long ago, man. Right. And they living off that money right now. Capping in your face. Right. Putting it in your face. Right. They're begging for a seat at their table. Right. From the table that you built. Right. That I mean, it's 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 ridiculous, and it it don't make sense, you know. No, it don't make sense, and we always got to be a part of. I mean, there's nothing wrong with being yourself, man. No, you get more love and respect out of the people that you want respect and love from if you would just be your damn self and have right. self respect. Right. But and I'll uh, give you Muhammad Ali as an example. Right now, true. Uh huh. But Muhammad Ali had a teacher. Right. Uh, Mr. Farrakhan uh, had a teacher. Right. You and I had a teacher. Yes. So, how do you get the message over on what your on what yourself is to where they can understand that the answer to the question of what is yourself comes from the same teacher who taught. Uh, Muhammad Ali, Mr. Farrakhan, Malcolm, who their self is. You can bring the horse to the water, but you cannot force the horse to drink. Okay. So, And if it wasn't for the God saying, I'll make you see. If it were not for me, you would not see. i give you your hearing. I'll make you I untie your tongue so, so you won't be a, a speaking dummy anymore. So, man can't do it. Not even my prophets can do it. Right. I do that out of my favor for you. I would lose my mind because it, to me it's like a no brainer. Damn, don't you know how to count? You know what I'm saying? So, Here it is. That's right. Just, just. I mean, I thought this was gonna be over with 20 years ago, man. Don't get <laughs> right. my age away. Right. But see, I thought we. I thought it was when I first heard it. I was a rap. Right. Done deal. Let's ride. All I gotta do is tell you. Right. You no, know, but it ain't. It don't work like that. So, but, but, hey, just to keep my sanity. I just have to remember. It, 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 the God is the only one that can make a man or a woman see. Right. That's All right. you have to do is, is for your duty as someone who sees, is to bear the message and deliver it. Yeah. Put it out there. And, and and with much wisdom comes sorrow. Oh, yeah. But so well, let me ask you this then: Well, who who is the black man? The black man is the original man, uh-huh. the Asiatic black uh-huh. man, the maker, the uh-huh. owner, the cream of the, the planet, planet right? God, and the God uh, of the universe. universe. So that that came from the same teacher who taught the minister, who taught. Malcolm, who taught Muhammad Ali, and now you got it, those that out there listening. Absolutely, and we got everything all backwards. He told us that up was down, backwards was forward, <laughs> left was right. He told yeah. us that we are the colored man. We're not even the colored man. Right, we're not even the colored man. The yeah. colored man is the one that comes after that which all colors come, come from. from. Come on, well, teach. So, so it's confusing. To me, that people don't 
don't understand simple mathematics. Right. That's right. It don't, but free yourself, people. Free yourself. Free Stop yourself. yourself. And and for, <laughs> and for those who, if you didn't know who you were, you know who you are now. <laughs> and let's move on that. And let's move on that. The energy of that verdict, that 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 justifiable verdict of guilty for Derek Chauvin in the murder of George Floyd, and let's keep riding that wave forward and, and meaning in every aspect in your life. Keep going for what's beneficial and what's going to add to. Keep building those positive bricks up, you know, till you create your heaven here on earth. Don't wait till you check out of here, you know, enjoy the wonders of this planet that the creator gave you while you here. Yes, sir. Definitely. Brother Mark, as usual, thank you for being on the show, bro, and sharing that wisdom, man. Thank you for allowing me on the show, brother. It's yes. always a pleasure. Yes, sir. We need that right here on Verbal Pick Radio, and we are out. <laughs>